everybody and welcome to another video and today Sonic so uh in case the audio setup for this video is weird uh it's because I'm using like a makeshift setup I don't have my normal like gaming headset that I use to record videos I have a makeshift headset with like a a, a mic on the like I don't know, the, the wire to connect it to the controller, so I don't have my normal like headset mic. So in case any audio from me sounds different, that's why. <laughs> but uh, today, we're going to be playing uh, Sonic 1 and Sonic Origins. So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be playing Sonic 1 and Sonic Origins. I don't know why I chose this game. This is probably my least favorite. Uh, I'm gonna try to play every game as a different character, maybe. So, honestly, I'll probably play each character in their respective game. So, like, Sonic here, Tails and Sonic 2. Uh, Knuckles and Sonic 3 Knuckles and Amy and CD. So we're just gonna go with Sonic. This is probably my least favorite out of the Sonic games. Like, every time I just- I play this game, it makes me wish I was playing Sonic 2 or Mania. Especially- or also in other games, it makes me- which I was playing Mania, like uh, Oil Ocean and Sonic 2, because I much prefer Mania's Oil Ocean. In case you're wondering, has he played Mania? Yes, yes I have. I have played Mania, and uh, it is way better than... Oh, that's on the boss. Oh, never mind, it's the end of the stage, what am I saying? Uh, I'm forgetting that they don't have bosses at the end of each stage until uh, Sonic 3 Knuckles. But we're gonna go to a special stage. I'm not gonna be like constantly trying here, and I, I don't plan on getting all of the Chaos Emeralds. No. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be constantly trying. I, I don't... Okay. Uh, I'll retry one more time. But I... I don't... No! Uh-uh. I'm through. Alright, we're, we're busted through. Got it. Alright, first Chaos Emerald. Well, I, I don't plan on getting all of the emeralds in any of the games. It's just, if I get them, I get them. I also, honestly, now, I'd say that uh, Sonic 2 is my favorite out of the games in this collection, but I'm not sure if I can say that quite yet, because I haven't beaten Sonic 3 Knuckles. Like, I'm sure that CD won't be my favorite, not that it's like a definitively bad game or whatever. It's not my favorite. It's like, I can just tell. Like, not, not my game, you know? I'm gonna be trying to keep all my rings. So I can, uh, you know, go to special stages. It's like, obviously, I want to go to the special stages. But, you know, if I can't, it's not like it matters. 
So uh, here's the second one. Okay, we need to not go this way. No. Nope. Other way. Other way. Alright, this is... No. Where am I going right now? Nope, not that way. Oh, this way. Alright. Oh, there's the there's the emerald right there. Alright. And I flip the rotation. Let me in. Let me in there. No. Oh my god, what is happening? Alright, I flipped it again. Saying I don't see why people don't like the Sonic 1 special stages now would be a lie, because I definitely do. God. Alright, let me in there. Let me in. Let me in. Got it. Alright, first try. Well, I mean, like... Oh, I got coins for that, too. Uh, really, playing uh, Sonic 1 makes me wish I was playing, like, any other Sonic game. Okay, uh, keeping all my rings here doesn't matter because I can't go to a special stage on this zone. Ow. Uh, I, I don't know how I'm gonna be doing these videos. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be splitting them in parts per game per zone. Like, I don't know, Marble Zone and Green Hill Zone in this video. And then whatever zone after that, like, uh, I think it's Scrapyard, and then either Labyrinth or Starlight. I think it's Labyrinth after Scrapyard. Like, I don't know. I think it's this. Yeah, I thought so. Bruh. Ooh, wait. There we go. I did not want to miss that. I do have to say though, this is definitely my favorite uh, boss theme in the series. Like, I like the Mania themes, but like, out of the original Genesis games, this is definitely my favorite. Ow. I'm I'm gonna be like, damage boosting through this one, aren't I? Yep. The answer is yes. Bonk. Bonk. Okay, th this is what you do here. Just wait for him to go to the other side and hide in the corner. Okay. Whew. That would have been bad. Because I... Yep, yeah, okay. Well, that I probably would have, like, lost my last ring there. And this is, like... A strange design for the little uh, animal capsules. Like I'm used to the like the later designs for the animal capsules, like a uh, Sonic 2 through Mania. I have like mixed feelings on Marvel, but. Like, honestly, this is probably one of my, like, favorite tracks in this battle. This is probably one of my favorite tracks in, uh, Sonic 1. While also, uh, like, this zone just kind of sucks. It's kind of lame, honestly. Like, uh, I heard a lot of people, like, when they were kids,
kids when they get to this level. Like, they just turn off the Genesis and, like, start over from Green Hill. And I, I see why. Like, th this is... This is just... This is unfun. Like, as a platformer game, this wouldn't be a bad level. But as a Sonic game, this, this is just... Underwhelming. Because, like, I, I'm pretty sure you could figure out already that Sonic was about going fast, and when you have an entire zone that's just, like, Mario-type platforming, it, it really, like, it, it really ruins your perspective of a game like this. Oh, I need to be, like, keeping my rings, because I think I'm probably going to end up going to the end of the act without, uh, 50. Yeah, what did I say? Okay, no, no chaos, I'm this thing. Like, honestly, other than... Like, if you told me that you didn't want to play anything from this game except for Green Hill, I would not blame you, because you're not missing much. Ow. Like, I'd say the only zone that you should play other than Green Hill is Starlight. But considering that's like... I think that's the second to last zone. Like, that's, I'm pretty sure that's the zone right before uh, Scrap Brain. So like, consider you have to play through all the trash that is, you know, all the other zones in this game. Like, there's some alright level design here. I wouldn't say that this zone is one of those alright level design ones. Like, I'd say, uh, the alright level design ones are like, uh, Scrapyard, something like that. Ow, that always happens to me. Oh no. Alright, we're, we're damage boosting. I'll be taking that. Uh, I don't have the patience for this. No. That, that's mean. Yeah, that... That's something I don't like about... I want that shield. I, I'll... No. Hey, give me that shield. G give me the shield. Got it. Alright. I, I have no rings right now, so in case I get hit by anything, I'm gonna need a shield. That scared me. Yeah, the, the level design in this game is just... mean. Like... I don't know if that's like a... Because of my like 2020, my 2023 perspective of video games, where like how balancing works or whatever, or, like how balancing works in video games, but th this is just mean level design. Like especially Sonic One. There's a lot of just stupid level design that will get you killed for no reason. I thought I thought I was gonna die there. No. Get out of here. Oh my god. I'm like I'm honestly scared about losing all like 50 of these rings because you know it's enough to go to the special stage if I make it to the end before I like lose the rings please please go bruh ah uh. 
Oh god. What? Bruh. That, that's... Oh, I was right. I was right at the end, too. Wow. Wow. That... Wow. That, that, that sucks. That is, that sucks. Uh, I couldn't tell you if I'm gonna be recording, like, all the parts to this video, or, like, all the parts to Sonic 1 in, like, a row. Like, how I record videos is a mystery even to me. Like, sometimes I'll record, uh, multiple parts in the same, like, in the same, uh, session, and then edit them down into individual parts. Like with uh, some of the Bedrock uh, Insane Craft episodes, like you could just kind of tell. Like I uh, took something larger and edited, edited it down to a smaller format of like 20 to 30 minutes. So I don't know if I'm gonna do something like that here or just play the game until the end of a zone or a certain a certain zone point and then just give up. Uh, I I totally dropped Ash. What do you mean? There's nothing over here. That that's sad. And the platform went back up. These little uh, caterpillars, I think they're called. Yeah, they're they're kind of annoying. Cause uh, you have to hit them on the head. If you don't hit them on the head, uh, like obviously they'll hurt you, but not only that, they'll shoot out like each individual body part as like a separate thing that can hurt you. So sometimes you might like get hit by like the body part and it'll like separate, and then you could get hit by one of the little bouncing body parts. So I oh no, okay, I was about to say I don't think I was supposed to be up here yet. No, it's fine. I would drop dash, I would drop dash, I was, or what I was gonna say is, I would drop dash to kill that caterpillar, but I was afraid of the spikes on the other side there. Yeah, okay, you can see that, like, his little body parts, uh, like, he can bounce over the lava, that's stupid. Well, you can see that his little body parts, like, scattered after, uh, I, you know, hit him. Uh, yeah, so... Oh no. I hate it when that happens. But, uh... You can see that his little body parts spread out when you, uh, hit something... Hit, hit something other than his head. I hate getting crushed. There is no anxiety, in my opinion, as strong as getting crushed in a Sonic game. Like, in my opinion, there is no greater feeling of anxiety than feeling like you're about to get crushed in a Sonic game. Because unlike other instant deaths, like death pits, oh, sorry, uh, death pits or uh, drowning, like. You could... Uh, not, that was not worth it. Like, unlike other instant deaths, like, uh... Uh, death pits or drowning, you can't really do anything about getting crushed. It's just, if you're in the wrong place, at the wrong time, you die. Like, at least with, uh... Like... Drowning, like, you could obviously get, like, air bubbles. You could get uh, bubbles to prolong the amount of time you could spend underwater, and with uh, falling into death pits, you just get good at the game. But like with getting crushed, you really can't do anything about that. I am not gonna. Do that. Uh, you can't do anything about getting crushed. If you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, you will die. So, like if you. That looks stupid. I am so dead. Please, rings. Oh, 
I'm afraid those little bad enemies were gonna kill me before I could get the rang. I honestly thought he was- I, I did not think I was gonna hit him. But I, I, don't, I don't like crushes. I don't like uh, crush death. Like, in uh, certain instances in Mario games, you uh, can survive getting crushed if you have a power-up. Not all situations, sometimes you, you'll just die regardless. But, in certain situations, you can avoid being crushed by having a power-up. In this game, you just die. In all Sonic games, if you ever get crushed, it's instant death. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh, yeah, I remember this part. I, I do not like this part of the stage, because, uh, if you don't make all those jumps correctly, uh, you'll fall, and it will just send you back down to the, the bottom in the lava pit. So you have to make those jumps. And I'm surviving off of one ring. I need that. No! Oh god, I'm going to die. I almost died right then. Ugh. And I'm back here. Bruh. Like, this- this game is, like, unforgiving. Like, for retro games, this is probably easy, but for, like, modern game standards, this is very difficult. Like, this is a very hard game from, rec uh, from modern gaming standards. Like, obviously this isn't, like, Dark Souls or something. Bruh. This isn't, like, uh, Dark Souls or something, but still. This is not an easy game. As far as I'm aware. Like, obviously, you could just say I'm bad. Which, I guess you really wouldn't be wrong, but... You know. I... These games aren't necessarily easy, especially when you don't know what you're doing. And I guess I don't know what I'm doing. I've only played through Sonic 1 once before. And, uh, I don't know how, like, a Sonic game's gonna do on my little small channel because I've never played a Sonic game on my channel before. Worth. It, that was worth it. But, uh, you know, I, honestly, I think if, uh, this, like, regardless of anything, I'm making this a series. Oh, I have no rings for this boss. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Ah, uh, he, he killed me. Alright. I have to get some rings for this boss. But I don't know where I'd find said rings. Right here. Now I have to not lose any rings. So I can make it to the boss. Alright, here we go. Well, I, I don't know how a Sonic game is doing on my channel, because I, I don't play Sonic games on my channel, like, ever. This is the first time I've played a Sonic game on my channel. So saying I knew how this would do, like, I don't know, this video could get, like, two views, and I, I wouldn't know. Or, I technically wouldn't know, because I got the analytics and stuff, but I... I, I don't know why I'd say I don't know why I said I wouldn't know, I definitely know. But like regardless of like anything like I don't care about any sort of analytics for this series. I'm making this series for me. But Okay, this is where I'm gonna end the, the video. 
I'm just gonna say, if, like, this series does well somehow, uh, I will play Sonic Mania on the channel. I don't know when, but if this series does well, I'll play Sonic Mania. But, uh, for now, uh, thank you for watching this video, and I will see all of you in the next episode of Sonic Origins. Uh, goodbye.